Rachel Notley's Alberta Hating Oil Sands Advisory Group co-chair is in Europe this week for a fancy person conference of our moral and intellectual betters in the environmental movement, Sapor Berman, that co-founder of the anti-oil think tank Forest Ethics, that former Greenpeace activist and incidentally that brand new Rachel Notley hire, is in Oxford for a conference called Fossil Fuel Supply and Climate Change. It's another jet set conference of our environmentalist overlords sitting around deciding the fate of billions of people in the developing world, including their life, their death, and the health of their children. And no, I definitely don't mean that the environmentalists are concerned about making the lives easier and longer for people in the hard scrabble places of the developing world. These environmentalists are sitting around debating about whether or not to make those people's lives worse. Let me show you this one tweet from Sapora Berman, and then I'll explain. The tweet says, looking forward to presentation on new paper looking at whether fossil fuels led growth is a viable path for low income countries. Okay, that one tweet right there sums up nearly everything I hate about the environmental movement. And I know hate is a strong word, but I think it's the right word for me to use here. These rich white liberals with comfortable jet set lives in the Western world are sitting around in a fancy conference room discussing if the developing world should be allowed to develop their fossil fuel resources. It's gross. It's ironic. These are the far left. They're the ones constantly complaining about colonialism. But this is environmental colonialism. Now, I think every person in the world should have the opportunity to earn wealth, live longer, and to determine their own fate. But not these people. Not these far left environmentalists. They think it's their right to decide whether or not the people in the developing world will have the benefits of their own country's resources. The longer, healthier lives, the easier work life, the better access to hygiene and electricity and medical care, those are all the things that fossil fuel and mining wealth brings to developing countries. It's really a matter of life and death. This is what these racist environmentalists are sitting around debating. They're debating whether or not the children of a poor mud hut living farmer in Africa get to go to school because their dad was able to get access to a fossil fuel tractor instead of those children toiling morning to night in a field all day with just hand tools to survive. And I call these environmentalists racist because it is racist to think that African children should be poor so that the Western world can meet some arbitrary CO2 targets that really mean nothing. Sapora Berman has had a lifetime of anti-oil, anti-Alberta, anti-humanity activism under her belt. And I think she has no business being a co-chair of the Oil Sands Advisory Group, deciding the future of Alberta's economy. Sapora Berman shouldn't be taking a dime from Albertans when she has spent her life working against us. If you agree with me, go to fireberman.ca to sign the petition asking Rachel Notley to fire this BC-based, lifelong, anti-Alberta activist. And while you're there, you can donate to fund the billboard we want to buy. We want to buy a big, beautiful Fire Berman billboard, but we need help paying for it. We want every Albertan to know exactly who Sapor Berman is and how Rachel Notley was wrong to hire her. You can go to fireberman.ca to donate to that billboard. Surely there's an Albertan out there who doesn't hate Alberta who could do Berman's job for her. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.